Random coefficient regression can be used when we want to explore the relationship between a response variable, y, and a continuous explanatory variable, x, and we have repeated measurements of x and y on individual subjects. In ordinary regression, there is a single fixed value for each parameter, for example, the intercepts and slopes. In contrast, random coefficient regression allows these parameters to be unique for each subject. This is done by modeling all the coefficients of the regression model for each subject simultaneously using random effects and, importantly, allowing for correlation among these random effects. If you want to learn more about random coefficient regression, you might find it useful to watch this short introductory YouTube tutorial produced by the Roslyn Institute. Let's work through an example. First, I'll set my working directory to the folder where I put our data set, ratgrowth.txt. Now, I'll read in the rat growth data set and view its structure. These data originated from an experiment to study the effect of drugs on the growth rate of rats. The rats were put into one of three treatment groups, control, thyroxin, and thiouracil, and their weights were recorded weekly. Notice that the variable rat has been read into R as an integer rather than a factor. We'll convert it to a factor using the as.factor function. Before we begin modeling the data, let's use the xyplot function of Lattice to explore it visually, plotting the weights of the rats over time for each treatment group. The resulting plot suggests that the profiles have a hint of curvature, so we'll model them using both linear and quadratic time effects. In order to include quadratic effects into our model, we must first create a variable containing the squared values of time, and, as it is recommended that covariates be mean-centered, we'll calculate centered time and time squared variables. For illustration, we'll begin by analyzing the data from just the thiouracil treatment group. We'll then expand this model to include data from all three treatment groups. This code will create a new data frame called rat growth underscore thiouracil, containing just the weight data from rats given the thiouracil treatment. Our random coefficient regression aims to model a quadratic weight profile over time, allowing for random variation about the quadratic parameters for the individual rats. We do this by fitting fixed quadratic polynomial time effects and correlated random intercepts and quadratic time polynomial effects for each rat. Let's see how to specify this model in ASREML R4. First, load the ASREML library. The ASREML function is used to fit the random coefficient regression. The model is specified using the fixed and random arguments, and the data argument is used to specify the data frame to use. With this example, we need to increase the maximum number of iterations from the default of 13 for convergence. The fixed terms are supplied as a formula with the response variate weight on the left of the tilde operator and the fixed terms times c plus times c squared on the right. The random terms are also supplied as a formula. However, unlike the fixed formula, the response variate isn't specified. The str function allows the three parameters, the intercept and the quadratic polynomial coefficients for each rat to be correlated. The core GH variance model is equivalent to the US variance model, although it is parameterized differently and is more stable. You can learn more about how to define the str function in the ASREML R reference manual. Now, let's fit the model and save it in an object called rcmodel underscore thiouracil. The following commands produce a plot of the residuals and display the variance components, the fixed and random effects, and wall tests for the fixed effects.
The wall test for the fixed effects provides evidence of curvature in the weight profiles of thiourosol treated rats over time. Now, let's extend this model to include data from all three drug treatments. Our aim is to compare the quadratic weight profiles of the three drug treatments, control, thyroxin and thiouracil. This is done by fitting a fixed effective drug and allowing the fixed quadratic polynomial time effects to differ between the treatments. As before, we also fit correlated random intercepts and quadratic polynomial effects for each rat. The model is specified in ASREML R4 using the following code. Let's fit the model, plot the residuals and display the variance components, fixed effects, random effects and wall tests for the fixed effects. The wall tests are incremental, meaning they are conditional on the order in the table. For example, the test of the drug by time squared interaction represents the effect of adding this term to a fixed model already containing the intercept, time, time squared, drug and drug by time. The wall tests provide strong evidence that the quadratic curvature differs between the three drugs. In other words, there is a drug effect on the growth rate of rats. We can use the predict function to get the predicted mean weight over time for each drug. As time and time squared change in parallel, we must list all combinations of drug, time c, and time c squared that we want to predict means at, and set parallel equals true. For example, the mean for the first level of drug, the control, is being predicted at time c equals negative 2 and time c squared equals 4, and at time c equals negative 1 and time c squared equals 1, and so on. You can learn more about the PREDICT function in the ASREML knowledge base. Finally, let's plot the predicted means over time using the XYPLOT function of Lattice.